Hello everyone! When you're creating music, one of the most important ingredients is inspiration. On this video, I'm going to give you 5 tricks in Cubase LE and Cubase AI that will boost your creativity when you're creating your own music. So, let's get started. Tip number 1. Explore the sound sets. Cubase LE and Cubase AI come with a vast library of loops and samples. All these loops and samples live inside the media bay. If you don't see the media bay window right here, all you need to do is click on this icon and it will show up straight away. Now let me show you a few of the loops and samples that we have inside Cubase LE and Cubase AI. All I need to do is click on this icon and as you can see here I have all the libraries that we have inside Cubase. Let's go to the Hip Hop Vault for example. This has amazing hip hop loops, drums, road samples, basses. Let's try a few. And if you have this icon enabled right here, this will also follow the tempo of your project. For example... So this is a little bit slow. When I click on this, it adjusts to the tempo of my project. Let's have these pianos here. I mean, this would be great for some nice lo-fi beats. So, let me show you a few more sounds. We have the soul assembly, again, really nice. Some really quirky rhythms there. And let's try a few from the Blockbuster sound set. These are really, really nice. Let's listen to them. Atmospheres. drum loops nice and big cinematic hits so as you can hear lots of variety in these sample sets they can really set the mood to help you get started on your next track trick number two Use the chord track to try out chord progressions. In Cubase LE and Cubase AI, we have something called the chord track. Let me show you how you create it. You go on the plus symbol, like with any track that you want to create in Cubase, and you go plus, and then you select more tracks, chord track and then we add it to a project. Now what the chord track allows us to do is it allows us to create chord progressions very, very easily without the help of any external or pre-recorded MIDI loops. Let me show you. Let's say I want to create a chord right here. I can take my pencil tool, create a chord, and then I can double click on this chord and decide what kind of chord I want this to be. Now, if I want to hear how this chord sounds, I can select any of my instruments. For example, I'm going to select this Halion Sonic instrument. I'm going to record enable it. And now I can say, okay, I want to have an F minor for this chord. Then maybe I want to add another chord. I can hit the plus symbol here. And there we go, I just added another chord. And now it's very easy to pick a chord. I can say, okay, I want to use this chord because I know it's in the key of F minor. And maybe I want to add another chord and add this one. And maybe another one. And maybe I can add a B flat minor. And now let's play it back and see how it sounds. And when I'm happy with my chord progressions, I can grab these chords and just drag them into my instrument channel. And I also have the MIDI. So chord track is a really powerful way to get you started, get inspired with some really cool chord progressions. Number three, use different effects to give dimension and interest to your sounds. Cubase LE and Cubase AI include some amazing plugins so that you can create incredible sounds straight out of the box. Let's take this guitar part here, for example, and let's try and make it a little bit more interesting so that we can get inspired. This is how it sounds with the Amp Simulator plugin already applied. Now, why don't we try and make this guitar sound a little bit more spaghetti western? So. All you need to do is add an effect. I'm adding the tremolo effect inside Cubase LE and AI. Let's listen to how it sounds now. Now 
Now compare this sound to the sound without it. It's flat, but this immediately takes us to, I don't know, Wild West. What about this one? A bit of reverb as well. So this is the sound that we had initially without the effects applied. A bit boring, quite boring actually. And then... Inspiration strikes. So use effects on your sounds, don't be afraid to experiment and try different things. You'll be surprised on how many different colors you can get out of one single sound just by using the effects. Number four. Use chord pads to add groove to your chords. Just a second ago, I showed you how to use the chord track to create chord progressions super fast. Now, in Cubase LE and Cubase AI, we have another thing called the chord pads. These also allow you to create chord progressions very easily, but they also allow you to add a little bit of groove and vibe to your chords. Let me show you. I have a piano selected here. And now, all I need to do in order to access the core pads is go right here, click on this icon, and then I can bring up the lower zone. So these are the core pads. If you pay close attention, you will realize this looks like a piano keyboard. And it corresponds to my MIDI keyboard right here. So if I play a C, you will see that I'm going to trigger an F minor chord. If I hit the F key, I'm going to get a B flat minor. So now I can record and play these chords in real time. Let's check it out. So it's very easy to come up with chord progressions that have a little bit of groove right there. Now, the great thing is that you can also try out presets. If I go here to my chord pads presets, I can load chords from a preset and maybe I want to use the pleasing rock pop chords. There we go. Or maybe I want to try out something more experimental. What about this House of Tensions preset? So the core pads, as you can see, can give you a lot of inspiration. Try out the presets, play with your own chords because you can of course change them if you want to. You can edit them like with a chord track and you can come up with your own original music in no time. And tip number five, use Groove Agent SC creatively. Cubase LE and Cubase AI come with a mighty Groove Agent SC included. Groove Agent SC is not only an amazing drum instrument, but it can be used creatively in many ways. Let me show you a couple of them, and I'm sure you're going to go to town with it. If you want to load Groove Agent SC, go to Media Bay, VST Instruments, and there we go. I can drag it and drop it right here. And there we go, now we have a Groove Agent SC loaded up. When you load it up, it won't make any sound, but now you can start loading it with great sounds. And this way, you can also take advantage of the sound sets. So if I go to Loops and Samples, I can go here. Let's go, for example, to my Hip Hop Vault. And let's say I want to load this drum loop inside Groove Agent SC5. So I can just drag it, drop it onto a cell, and there we go. Now, of course, I can play this straight away. But the other thing that I can do is I can completely rearrange this loop very easily. All you need to do is go to the slice page and now you can hit create slices. And now you will see that I have all these beautiful elements of this loop mapped across my keyboard. Let me show you. So now I can completely rearrange the loop and make it my own. So maybe...
Now, let me show you the second thing that you can do with Groove Agent SE. Now, the second thing that you can do is use Groove Agent SE as a sampler and use it to create pitched instruments. Let me show you how you do this. It's actually very, very easy. Let's say I want to find a 808 sub bass here. That sounds pretty nice. So I can do the same thing, drag it and drop it into a cell. And that's great. Now I can play it. But now let's say I want to create an instrument out of this single 808 kick drum. Very easy to do. All you need to do is go to your sample, set it to no loop. Okay, so now when I lift the key, the sample playback stops. And now I just want to populate my entire keyboard with this sample. Let's go to pitch, click on key range to turn it on. I'm going to turn on my keyboard view as well. And now I can set my low key and my high key. Let's try it out. See, now I am populating my keys with this sample. And now I have a pitched instrument straight away. Can even add some distortion there. So with the included groove agent, you can take any drum loop or any sample and turn it into a playable instrument. So there you go, guys. These were five tricks that will boost your creativity with included tools inside Cubase LE and Cubase AI. I hope this will help you make some great music. Have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.